Welcome back. In this video, we will learn to build and modify small molecule models using the 2D Sketcher and 3D Builder. Make sure you are back in your materials underscore intro project in your materials underscore intro working directory. Let's begin. Right click anywhere in an empty section of the workspace. Click Create New Entry, Create Empty Entry. When prompted, input PPY for the entry title and click the green check. A new entry is now added to the entry list as shown on the left. It is both selected and included. As expected, nothing appears in the workspace. We will learn to draw 2-phenylpyridine, which we commonly abbreviate as PPY. With the PPY entry selected and included from the main menu, go to Edit, 2D Sketcher. The 2D Sketcher panel opens. The 2D Sketcher functions like many standard 2D molecular drawing tools. Draw 2-phenylpyridine. We will demonstrate one way to do so here, but note that there are plenty of reasonable approaches. Let's point out a few of the major tools in the 2D Sketcher. The eraser can be used to remove any sketches. Click and drag to erase multiple bits at once. The green check can be used for a quick cleanup of any drawings. And the three dots next to the arrow will show more actions. Remember that the question mark icon will take you to comprehensive reference documentation about the panel, which includes a helpful 2D Sketcher training video. If you are new to 2D molecular drawing, definitely visit the help page. With your 2-phenylpyridine drawing finalized, click Update Entry and then close the 2D Sketcher. It is a best practice to always close panels when you are done using them especially those which interact with the workspace like this one does. You'll notice the 2D sketch has become automatically converted into a 3D model. We can change the display to ball and stick akin to the earlier provided structures. To do so, select all of the atoms in the workspace. Remember, there are several ways to do this. Here, we will use the All Quick Select button. Once all the atoms are selected, from the toolbar, click on the style palette and select the ball and stick option. It is important to note that while this is a reasonable geometry, this structure is not optimized. Later materials will cover introductory concepts regarding quantum mechanical geometry optimizations. Our current structure can be modified in many ways. For example, you could reopen the 2D sketcher and change this entry. In addition, there are tools for working in three dimensions. Let's suppose we wanted to add another phenyl ring adjacent to the nitrogen atom to generate 2,6-diphenylpyridine. In the toolbar, click on the Build palette. Select the hydrogen atom to be replaced. In the 3D Builder, click Add Fragments and choose the benzene ring. The hydrogen atom is replaced with a phenyl group. We may wish to improve the initial geometry of the structure using a force field minimization. This is also performed via the 3D Builder palette. Again, select all of the atoms in the molecule and click the Minimize Selected Atoms button in the 3D Builder. A force field is used to minimize the geometry. Keep in mind that this force field is typically a lower level of accuracy compared to quantum mechanical geometry optimizations. Also note that metal atoms are generally not parameterized for force field minimization. Again, later materials will cover introductory concepts regarding QM geometry optimizations, as well as many workflows in MS Maestro, which utilize these 2D and 3D tools. Finally, it is worth pointing out that while 2D and 3D tools are excellent for preparing one or several molecules, if you are working with large data sets, or if you have a starting model on hand, recall that many file types are compatible with MS Maestro. You can always import starting molecules, for example, .sif, .xyz, or smile strings, to name a few. In this video, we learned to build and modify small molecules 
using the 2D Sketcher and 3D Builder. From here, you could use many different panels in MS Maestro to perform a variety of calculations on these small molecules. For example, you might perform a geometry optimization, calculate electrostatic potential charges, or predict vibrational frequencies. Explore the detailed documentation at www.schrodinger.com slash learn slash training slash materials dash science, where you can access help pages, many tutorials, and information on the online course offerings that could assist you in performing small molecule calculations. In the next video, we will learn the basics for how to build metal complexes. See you there!